Pulse News on the Go, brought to you by Galaxy A, your camera. President John Mahama says he is deserving of a second term following several projects in the areas of health, education and housing his government has been able to execute in his first term. The flag bearer of the NPP, Nana Kufuado, had said that Ghanaians will reject President John Mahama at the upcoming general elections, similar to what Nigerians did to their former president, Good luck, Jonathan. But President Mahama, during his accounting to the people tour in Kumasi, said his first term was only aimed at securing a solid foundation which will ensure a good start for a second term. Meanwhile, NPP's flag bearer Nana Kufuadu has begun a five day tour of the eastern region. After a keenly contested finals, Adisado College has emerged winners at the 2016 National Science and Maths Quiz. The Zebra Boys won by 44 points as against Opokowari School and Fanspin School with 38 and 37 points respectively. Adisco, which lost in the final last year, picked 40,000 cities as a grand prize for the school, 15,000 cities for the team of students and 15,000 cities for the teachers who coached them. Ghana has been named among the top transit points for cocaine in the world, according to a new report by the United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime. According to the World Drug Report 2016, the largest amounts of cocaine seized were in Cape Verde, followed by the Gambia, Nigeria and Ghana, with Brazil identified as the source of the illegal shipment. Dangote Cement is set to recruit 1,000 workers, mainly truck drivers, as part of its expansion program. The company says 1,000 brand new trucks would soon be added to its fleet of vehicles and recruited drivers assigned to one track. Dangote has also invested over $100 million in the construction of a new plant in Takradi in the western region. Pulse News on the go. Brought to you by Galaxy A. Your camera.